Good day, my dear students. For today's video, we're going to talk about the normal distribution curve. So by definition, by Investopedia, a normal distribution curve is a symmetrical plot of data around its mean value where the width of the curve is defined by the standard deviation. So if you can still remember, diba, when we are still discussing the discrete random variables, we, we can actually present its probability through frequency distribution and also through histogram. So remember, po, histogram is always used for discrete random variables. So if you can still remember, we've started with as simple as tossing two coins and the histogram of tossing two coins and we are interested to the probability of getting tails R1 or I mean 0, 1, 2. And for the frequency, we have 1, 2, 3, or okay so what is the probability for example of getting no tails um because we can have heads heads diba po, in tossing two coins so we have zero over four so that is one fourth and getting for example at um one tail so we have two kasi po pwede tayo magkaroon ng heads tails and tails heads and sa two naman po halimbawa um the probability of getting two tails so we can only have Tail tails. Opo. So, ibig sabihin, meron agan tayong 1. So, ito po yung probability, or I mean the histogram of getting the probability of tails po in tossing two coins. Then, we've moved to the example about the defective and defective. This time, tatluhan naman po. And the graph, if you can still remember, looks like this. Then we've moved to the one with the example na apatan naman this time. If you can still remember, it is still about tossing four coins this time. But our um, interest is on the heads naman. And if you can still remember, meron siyang um, graph or histogram which looks like this. Then napunta tayo dun sa example about the dice po. Tossing two dice and getting the sum of the top faces of both dice. So we have um, the histogram which looks like this. So ano po my dear students yung napapansin nyo? Habang dumadami yung mga possible values niya habang lumalawak, ano po yung tinutungo niyang shape? Di ba po, para siyang tumutungo sa normal curve. At ito po, my dear students, katulad nga nung mga nakaraan kong video, sabi natin, kapag ang data pinagpatuloy natin, ito pong mga gaps na ito, mas nagiging smooth kasi nga po, nagkakadugtong-dugtong sila. So hanggat sa habang ang measures natin or habang ang variables natin mas lumalawak, hanggat sa hindi na siya natin siya um, mabilang-bilang, hanggang nagiging continuous siya, ang ginagamit na po natin na graph is the normal curve. Opo. So, anong difference? Sa histogram po, all about lang siya kay discrete random variable. Pero pag nagkaroon na po tayo ng continuous random variables, ang ginagamit naman po natin is the normal curve. Okay, to further illustrate po how normal curve and histogram are actually connected with each other, let us have this example. Okay, I borrowed this image from Alan G. Blumen, year 2018, from his book Elementary Statistics, a step-by-step -step approach, 10th edition, from New York, page 311. So for example, we have the random sample of 100 women. So this is discrete random variable. Hanggang sa in-increase natin yung sample size, salimbawa naging 200 na siya, ano pong nakikita nyo? Yung class width po natin, ito po yung class width, yung parang lawak ng per bar natin, nababawasan. At hanggang dinadagdagan natin yung sample size at hanggang nababawasan yung class width, napapansin, ano pong napapansin nyo? Di ba po itong mga gaps natin, mas lumiliit din. 
At hanggang mas lumiliit sila, ang ibig sabihin hanggang tumadami po yung sample sizes na mas lumiliit po yung class width natin, mas nagiging smooth po yung curve natin hanggang sa marating niya itong normal distribution for the population na po. Clear? This is the difference of the normal distribution curve and also the histogram. Kasi po dito kay histogram, discrete. Opo, ibig sabihin, ito yung mga kaya pa lang nating mabilang. Pero pag hindi na natin kayang mabilang because it is already the population, so we use po the normal distribution curve. Okay, so the normal distribution curve has the following properties. So yung first property niya po, a normal distribution curve is bell-shaped. So, katulad nga ng sinabi natin, it is bell-shaped. And the mean, median, and the mode are equal and are located at the center of the distribution. Okay, meaning to say po, yung measures of central tendency, kailangan po, nasa isa lang siya. Bakit po? Katulad po nung in-explain ko po in our face-to-face -face discussion, di ba po, for example, hindi po nasa isang line, si mean, si median, and si mode. So, for example, yung mean po natin is 25, pero yung mode natin is 27. So, ibig sabihin po yung graph niya, pero yung maging ganyan. So, this is not a bell-shaped curve. So, meaning to say, hindi po siya normal curve. Opo, because according to the first property, a normal curve is bell-shaped. This one is not bell-shaped. Okay? Ibig sabihin, hindi po ito normal distribution curve. Opo, kailangan po para malaman natin na normal distribution curve siya, kailangan po yung mean, si median, and si mode are all equal para, mag, para nasa center po siya. Okay, a normal distribution curve is unimodal, katulad nga po na sinabi ko. Dahil kapag bimodal po siya, ibig sabihin meron pong dalawang thick parts. So for example, if you're going to illustrate that, para po siya magkakaroon ng ganito. Ganyan po yung shape niya. And still, according again to our property number one, kailangan po um, bell shape po siya. This is not a bell shape, kaya kailangan po si normal curve is unimodal lang. So ag uh, So, for our fourth property, the curve is symmetric about the mean. So, when we say symmetric about the mean, ibig sabihin po kung ano po yung area nitong nasa left part, ganun din po yung area ng nasa right part. So, the curve is continuous, correct? Ibig sabihin po na continuous, wala pong gaps. Opo, unlike po nung discrete random variable na histogram, may mga gaps po, ba? Diba? Pero dito po, kay normal curve, kailangan po dire-diretso lang siya po smooth. The curve never touches the x-axis. So, bakit po kaya? So, again po, di ba? According to our fifth um, property, the curve is continuous. And since po, di ba, continuous siya, wala siyang end. So, therefore, wala naman po talaga tayong imimit kay x-axis. Opo. So, ibig sabihin, dira-dira siya lang siya, asymptotic. Pero, palapit na palapit, pero never magta-touch. Okay, number seven, the total area under a normal distribution curve is equal to 1 or 100. So, ibig sabihin po, my dear students, ito pong kabuuan ng normal curve is always equal to 100. So, ibig sabihin po, since diba dito po um, nakalagay that the curve is symmetric about the mean, ibig sabihin po, itong normal curve is sinahati niya si normal curve by 2. O, since symmetric po siya, dapat ito 50%, ito din po 50%. At yung kabuan niya, dapat 100% or 1. Why 100%? Because katulad po, di ba, doon sa um, discrete random variable, kung saan yung per bar, ang tinutukoy niya po doon is the probability. Dito din po, my dear students, dito po sa normal curve lah, yung area po niya is probability also. And di ba po, as defined probability po, probability results can only range from 0 to 1. Opo, so, ibig sabihin yung kabuan po ng property, or kabuan po ng normal curve should be equal to 100% po. Um, in order for us to illustrate that um, the areas under the normal curve or the probability po of getting exactly that event is 100%. So, the area under the part of the normal curve that lies within one standard deviation of the mean is approximately 0.68 or 68% within two standard deviations about 0.95 or 95% and within three standard deviations about 0.997 or 99.7%. So, kung maalala nyo po, Noong face-to-face -face po natin, di ba po, meron tayong um, dinefine na mean, and the variance. 
And sabi po natin, di ba, when we say the mean po, it is the measure of central tendency. Ito po yung pinaka-average. Ito po yung nagsasabi kung ano yung middle part ng distribution. At kapag sinabi po natin variance, it is one of the measures of spreadness or dispersion. At yung square root po ng variance is the standard deviation. Ngayon po si standard deviation, ang sinasabi niya naman po is kaano kalalayo yung mga scores kay mean. So for example po, di ba ito, this is mean, population mean. At kapag daw po si standard deviation, there are that standard deviation is 1 lang po. So, ibig sabihin po, one away from the mean lies one standard deviation away from the mean. Ito pong dalawang ito, ang measurement niya po is 68%. Ito po, is 68%. Ngayon po, two standard deviations from both side po, um, that will give us 90, 95%. At yun pong three standard deviations away from the mean from both sides is 99.7%. Ngayon po ito, my dear students, magkakaroon lang ito ng essence kasi ngayon parang very abstract pa yung nangyayari. And ano, lahat lang po kasi ito yung mga theoretical information about the normal curve. Pero lahat ng ito magkakaroon ng sense when we reach the areas under the normal curve at kapag nagkaroon na po tayo ng real-life application of the normal curve, which I will discuss on our next videos po. That's it for today, my dear students. If you still have questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below. If you find this video helpful, Please like and subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye.